Saturday morning, but wheels that stay on the ground. We hope. Luckily. You know, amazingly, in the morning, one of the stories I'm going to do is the feds want to put rollover stickers on sport utility oh, vehicles. Yeah. Right, those big, bright, new stickers. Yeah, so now we can talk about Alan in the morning, too. At least they're okay. I've looked What's going at... On, man? Hi, Howard. How are you doing? If it... um, are you having a good Friday today? Yeah, but uh, we're actually on the air. We're on TV. Yeah, thanks. Right now? Yeah, but, uh, thank you. What? Thanks for what? <laughs> What? You know, it just doesn't get any better than doing this stuff down here at Fox. <laughs> this is it? live TV, Ed. You're rolling with the punch as well. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, for the past four months, I've been waiting for the Chrysler Concord to come in. Help! 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 He's pulling his tail. That's the you Easter know? Bunny. You just can't get this type of entertainment on so many networks. <laughs> I called my friend Bajan Fatty out of Village Chrysler for many, many times back in December because I've been actually waiting on this car. Chrysler Corporation's been really one of the hottest American car companies, the hottest American car companies in the 90s, and they continue going very strong. I guess we'll check in with Ed a little you know, later when the, when the bunny hops away. So, somebody told me the other day that some radio station was uh, daring people to get on the air, and I think somebody did it. We've been stunted? I think we've been stunted. All right. Yeah. We've got much more coming up here on Good Day Dallas. On See if we can clear side, the streets. Yeah. Three ninety nine for a limited time. Welcome back. It's a Friday. We've got the uh, Friday Funnies joining us today. Well, let's try Ed Wallace one more time and see if we can do it funny -less. You know, I almost feel like Elmer Fudd now having to get rid of the <laughs> lastly rabbit. <laughs> this is the Chrysler Concorde. It is actually the car that I've been looking for for four months, begging my friends to tell me when they got into town because this is Chrysler at its best. Their styling is still absolutely superb. In fact, if you look at the front end, Notice how they've taken an early 60s Jaguar look into a family sedan, so it's got this wonderfully powerful grill. And like everything Chrysler's doing, you know, the, the guy that used to be the president actually was with BMW back in the early 70s, and he wanted to bring that European flavor to everything they do. It's a great cab forward design to it, plenty of interior space, and it handles great. The amazing thing is, this car right here, $23,000 is all it is, with leather everything, about $25,000. I enjoyed driving it, no doubt about it. It's absolutely, you know what's amazing in the background? This is the station that thought Howard Stern was too outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> but as you drive it down the road, it's absolutely magnificent to handle. The one weak point to it, I wish the V6 engine, which is 200 horsepower, were a little bit smoother. The Chrysler's managed to make the engine and transmission so it gets about 20 miles to the gallon in town, 30 miles to the gallon on the highway, and actually I've been getting about 26 in this family sedan. The one other thing, and this may surprise everybody, Consumer Reports, which I'm not necessarily a big fan of, but every year they poll their listeners, their readers, and ask them about their cars and the problem. This year's poll, the Chrysler Concorde, was rated the most trouble-free car in America. And so there dispels the Chrysler quality myth. On a scale of 1 to 10 for Chrysler, this one's another solid 10, and you're going to see Concords all over the road. And in the interim, I guess I'm going to go find my shotgun and take care of the rabbit. Well, you know what I was just going to say? On a scale of 1 to 10, you're a man who can keep his composure. Man, are you focused. <laughs> you are one focused car critic. Now, you guys have had me out in 18-degree windshields with sleep coming down. A little rabbit's not going to affect my there day. There you go. Positive attitude on a Friday. Thanks, I'm, I'm We'll thinking, listen for you tomorrow. I'm thinking we'd chase that guy out in front of a dart bus, maybe. <laughs> yeah, then we would have two accidents on the Yeah, yeah. We don't need that. Yeah. Thanks, Ed. Let's, uh, let's check the roads, though, with a Chip Wagner.